Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to make relief to make relief of this. It's a uh, quite simple patterns on wood. Okay, so the theory is just easy. Draw vectors and then in ArtCam we use the shape editor. Make the round and uh, subtract scale to height, make it the height you want and then you apply and you get the relief you want so it's very easy to make relief of this however someone may say that the difficult part is how to Draw the vectors. Okay, so I'll show you how to draw the vectors of this. So first, mm, I turn off all this, and I create a new vector layer. Okay, and draw the square first. Okay, make it square. The size 20 by 20, um, or maybe 16 by 16 is okay. Apply. Okay. Um, we use uh, block and rotate copy. Uh, give it a small gap and the direction to right and to down. Column 88. Okay, seems okay. It's quite easy to do the square matrix. Okay, and uh, how about the other one? I'll show you like this. Control C and Control V. Drag it. I grouped already once for these. I will make it a bigger matrix. Okay. Control G to group them. Transform. Rotate 45 degrees. Okay. Okay. And we get this. Group them together. And then now we use this transform again. And make sure to unlock the ratio and now we change the width and make it narrower okay looks good then we draw a rectangle make it rectangle here and uh, when this the cursor moves to the point it will snap to it okay so This part seems okay. Right click, select them together, and move it to this part. Okay. And then we do the triangle. So, first we also draw a square and make it. 20 by 20, create, zoom in, and use the node editing. Select this node, right click, and cut vector. So this vector is cut into two vectors. We select these two and right click, delete nodes. Okay, we select all these and close vector with align. 
So we got this triangle, and we do a mirror on it. Make a copy in center, and uh, cancel this copy and uh, move it center up. Okay, we got these two separated triangles, and we make them into a square. Okay, Control G to group them, and we use same way as that. So we just uh, make it 12 by 12, apply, uh oh, okay. So we group again. We do a rotate 45 degree, apply, select, and then move it. And then we use transform again and change the width to 300, apply. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe um, I'd like to change it to another direction. So Okay, we draw another rectangle. Mm, ask you to cancel. Make it a rectangle. Right click. Okay. So let me show you the two paths separately of these. Okay, so we make a relief the first one, make it round, subtract. The limit scale to height, two millimeter. Apply. Okay, and then we make a new relief layer for this. So it's round, scale to height 2 mm, and subtract. Okay, apply, and then we select this rectangle and uh, do this zero outside vector. So we got a rectangle. All the relief in the rectangle. Okay. We do the same thing on the triangle vectors. New layer, shape editor, round, scale to height, 2 mm, subtract, apply, ok, we select this rectangle, and zero the rest. Ok, so we got this three down. The most difficult thing is that this hex it's more difficult to make. 
and to make it into this pattern. So I choose to use another software. It's AI, Adobe Illustrator. We create a new file. Give it a size you want. And uh, here is the polygon tool. If you don't see it, click on it. By default, it's the rectangle. Let me make the polygon. And uh, we hold the shift key to make it to lock the rotate. Okay. And I think the size is not important here. Okay. We draw a rectangle. Okay, and we use the swatch out, select, we select the polygon and move it into this. Then we select this square or rectangle, we move it, drag it into the fill. Okay, we got something like this. Then we double click on this and then we choose the hex by column and uh, down. Okay, then we got this. We select this and object expand. Only check the fill is okay. And then we use the uh, can use the magic wand to select the similar patterns. Okay, we can delete this, it's not useful now. Okay, now we file export, export as DXF and save it a name, one, two, export. And uh, keep the default is okay. And then in ArtCam, we go to vector import. Choose the one, two, open, OK. So we got something like this. We resize it, move it into this. OK, we control X to cut it and we create a new layer for it so we turn off the other okay and then we delete the unnecessary rectangles I select from right to left. Make sure don't delete the polygons. Okay, then we get all this polygon and uh, it's already ready for the relief. Okay, so we go to the relief editor. R round, scale to height, 2 millimeter, subtract and uh, apply. Okay, we turn off the vectors. Okay, now so we get all this relief ready. Okay, so you now now you know how to make relief to do relief at this. I hope this video is helpful for the beginners of Sense Router users. Okay, thank you for watching.
if you want to buy send routers from China, I'd like to help. Wish you good health. See you next time. Bye.